Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do a video about uh, this new gun that I just got this week. Um, it is the Smith & Wesson model 910 9mm. This gun was manufactured in the year 1995. Uh, it was very common as a police duty weapon during the 90s. And it is a nice gun, considering that it's almost 17 years old. It's in very good shape. I got this used. And this was a police uh, gun that was turned in. I've made a few changes to it since I've got it this week. Uh, the white lettering that you see, I added the white uh, with paint and then uh, wiped it off and it stayed into the, into the engraved areas. I think it looks nice that way. I think it looks really nice because it was all black uh, as a police duty weapon. I also added these Hogue grips here and the original grips were just the hard plastic grips and you know they were fine but I let me tell you <laughs> these Hogue uh, grips that I put on here if you're gonna shoot a lot these grips make it so comfortable to shoot this weapon. I mean it's a pleasure. The grips were only like yeah, 18 to 20 dollars and they're worth every penny. Getting them on is a little bit of an issue but I mean once you figure out what you're doing it's not so bad. So let's do a takedown and reassembly of this weapon. Uh, first thing, drop the mag. No bullets, nothing. No ammunition. Get rid of the mag. Okay, then I'm going to pull the slide back and show that there's nothing in the chamber. And let's do that. There's nothing in the chamber. It is completely clear. All right. So first step in taking it apart, just like a lot of Smith and Wessons. Uh, they are held together by that slide stop. The slide stop pin is what holds it all together. And to get that out, you're going to need to push it out. And from the other side, this pin, right above where the trademark is, is all that needs to be pushed. This one's a little tricky to get out. Um, it's getting easier as I take it apart more and more. But it does require some force if you get one of these weapons. And it's hard to get that out. Um, just try pushing really hard with your finger, and if you can't manage with your finger, uh, grab a tool that won't mar your gun and push that pin out from this side. But before you do that, what you need to do is, you're going to need to line up. You're going to need to line up this cutout. It's right up here. See how that's lined up? Just like that. Because in order to push it out, it has to be there. So I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to keep it lined up from my side. And I'm going to put my finger here. And I'm going to push as hard as I can. Manage to get that pin out. And I think I got her. There we go. So once you get that pin starting to come out, you see how it's coming out there. I'm just going to pull it out. Okay, it came out pretty good. Alright, then once you've got the pin, put my finger out of here. And I'll let the slide go forward off the frame. And you'll just have the frame and you will have the slide assembly. Okay, then I'm going to pull the guide rod out and spring. And I'm going to pull the barrel out. There's the barrel. Now, <clears throat> If you're at all familiar with uh, this weapon or the, the Smith & Wesson Model 915, there are a lot of people who um, will, tell, will try to tell you that the Smith & Wesson 915 and the 910 are the exact same gun. This is not true. The 910 was part of the, the bargain or economy line of Smith & Wesson guns released in the 90s, early 90s I believe, um, and they incorporated plastic parts in some areas. One of the areas that plastic parts were incorporated was the guide rod. 
This is a polymer plastic guide rod and uh, there is a replacement for this which would be uh, for example the uh, Smith & Wesson 5904 metal guide rod which would be a direct replacement for this. Uh, at this time it, this, this thing is doing pretty well but I will probably order the replacement guide rod. Um, I've seen them on Midway and Brown Ellis for about 12 bucks. And the metal part's always better than the plastic part for reliability. So, but for now, this is fine. Springs, you can get springs for about uh, $2, Midway or Brown Ellis again. Now, another thing that's different on the 910 from the 915 is the barrel on the 910 which is what I'm holding in my hand, 910 barrel. There is no locking lug on, on the barrel. There would be a, an actual notch, a, a lug, on this barrel for the 915. On the 915, you need that locking lug because it fits into the slide assembly. And when you fire your gun, that lug creates, uh, it locks every time you fire the gun, and it creates more stability for the barrel. Now, I don't know if the 915 barrel would work with that lug inside of a 910 slide. I don't know. I do know that the only correct replacement to me would be the regular 910 barrel. So if you're looking for a new barrel for your 910 and you see something for sale and it says 910, 915, if it has that lug, I would stay away from it because I would only want what's I know is going to work. So the 910 barrel does not have the lug. Okay. Other plastic parts on the 910 versus the 915. The magazine release button. This is plastic. The uh, sights on the slide. These are plastic. Front end and back. And these are cost-saving measures, measures that Smith & Wesson took to keep the price of this gun very affordable. I don't think it sold for more than $400 brand new in the 90s. And uh, I picked this up for about 278 and that's all costs out the door. Um, very nice weapon. It was a police-issued weapon. Uh, it was used by a police, police officer. It's 17 years old, and it's in great shape. Um, took it out today, fired 100 rounds through it, had no issues whatsoever. Uh, it was it was really nice to shoot. It was a pleasure to shoot because it's such a, um, a soft shooting, 9mm, um, very easy to control the recoil of it, just comfortable. <clears throat> of course, even more comfortable because I put these grips on, these hoed grips. They, they just, you know, they fit your hand and you're very secure. So I do recommend those grips. Hogue grips. Very nice. So let's put this back together and turn the slide upside down like that. We're going to take the barrel and we're going to put the barrel back into the slide. Okay, make sure she's seated in there. Nice, you heard it. Then we're going to take the guide rod and spring and we're going to put it into here. Now, one thing I should mention about these is, um, like almost Smith & Wesson's, you're going to see that half moon shape that's right there on the bottom of the barrel. The end of the guide rod has to fit into this half moon shape. Okay, That half moon is what's going to hold that guide rod in place. So, I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to show it to you up close and see if you can see it on the camera. Okay. So when it's in the right spot, everything will be centered. It's going to look like that. And you can see how it's sitting in there. Let me pull it out and I'll show it to you on the camera. So you can see that half moon. You see the half moon? I'm going to put, try to put this on there in the camera. Okay, so it sits just like that. And it needs to be centered. So when you're putting it back together, it's going to be hard to get together without being centered. All right. Pick up your frame. You've got your slide guide rod assembly. You're going to push it onto the rails. And like other Smith & Wessons, you have three levers. 
This big long lever is your ejector. Very important, don't damage your ejector. You won't have you'll have problems feeding and uh, ejecting your shells if you damage that. So don't try to force that. Then you've got your other two levers, a shorter one and a longer one. The first one you want to push down is that ejector. Push it on a little bit. Then you're going to have to push these other two down. Okay. And see how the hammer came forward? It's because I should have had the hammer forward to begin with. So the hammer has to be forward like this. My mistake. Hope you learned from that. I did. So first lever down, the long one. Then you push your other levers. Hopefully you can see them in there. Okay, I'm going to push one down. Then that little one, i got to work the hammer back just a little bit to get to it. Can you see it? And I'm going to work that slide on there. Okay. Once you've got those levers down, you're almost done. So I'm going to push the slide back. Put my finger in the chamber. I know a lot of people don't like to do that, but for me it's not uncomfortable. Then you're going to line up. You're going to line up that notch in that hole. Just like that. See how that's lined up? Okay, so once that's lined up, you're going to take your slide stop. And you're going to put your slide stop into the hole. Okay, there we go. You're going to put your slide stop into the hole. The barrel slid forward a little bit. That's what I was doing, was adjusting the barrel, pushing it back. You put your slide stop into the hole. And sometimes you just need to work it around a little bit. Okay, now once it starts to go in, you're going to push it, and usually it'll just it'll snap in there. And I, There we go. So now she's in there, and I just kind of worked it back and forth to get it in there correctly. So, I'm going to pull my finger out. Uh, Smith & Wesson Model 910, 9mm. I'm going to safety check, function check it. Uh, I'm going to hit the, the decocker, drop the hammer, okay, and on this gun there is a mag release safety, or, or mag safety, and that means that you cannot fire the gun without a magazine in the gun. Um, so, I'm going to take my empty mag, I'm going to place it in there, I'm going to make sure the gun that does, that gun does fire now. And this gun has a really sweet trigger. The uh, single action. Check this out. Really nice. Double action. Very smooth. Very controllable. Very good gun. Not expensive. There's a lot of these Smith & Wesson 910s out there. Um, you may not know much about it. But uh, it's well worth the cost. Um, don't hesitate if you see one for a good price and you're interested in a 9mm and you do not have a whole lot of money. This gun is very much worth the money. Alrighty, that was my review of the Smith & Wesson 910. Uh, any questions, any observations or comments, please leave them for me. I'll be happy to try to answer your questions. Um, shoot safe, uh, be safe, and have a great day. See you later.